What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Fish Get Million. Today we're going to teach you guys how to clean this bad boy right here. This is a red snapper from our trip that we just went on, our deep sea fishing trip. This is Nicole's red snapper. It measured about 18 and a half inches and uh, it was legal so we kept it and this is our first time uh, cleaning snapper so bear with us you know don't make fun of us but I researched it and uh, what you want to do is you're gonna cut slanted here and then you're gonna follow the bones all the way down this is a custom knife made in Matador Texas uh, my dad got it for me it's legit it says Michigan Millie on it and the little signet here even better than made in the USA, it's made in Texas. So here it is, the sheath, Matador, Texas. So uh, you guys, make sure to check them out. This is really nice, high quality stuff here. So that's the knife that we're using today. So thanks, Dad. Okay, so I feel the bone, and I'm just gonna make a little superficial cut. As you can tell, look, I'm only going in probably about two and a half inches. And I'm just feeling the bone and just working my way down. all the way down to the tail, okay? And then you're just gonna kind of peek open. All I'm kind of doing is peeling it, guys, and working my way along the bone there. Okay. You're sporty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I actually didn't get there good enough. But anyways, you want to get there along the bone and go sideways like so. Okay? Anyways, so now what we're going to do is you see there is a an anal opening there. So we're going to cut sideways in that direction, angle it this way. Because what you have here, guys, is you have guts and a rib cage. So you don't really want to get this area. You want to get here because this is where all the meat is. I probably need something with scales, but that should be good. Okay, so now all I'm gonna do is cut along this side here. Now it's important once you get to this side, uh, don't continue going up because you're gonna miss the meat. Get here and then go back down. So I'm trying to get on this side of the rib cage. Okay, moment of truth, see how we did? Okay, missed a little bit here. Uh, but you know, that's not too bad for our first time, okay? So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and cut this. Some guys like to flip it. I don't have a lot of room here, so. Okay, so here is your snapper filet, the American red snapper. It's uh, hard to beat this fish. Now all I'm going to do is grab a hold of the skin and I'm just going to work my way down. And as you can tell, this is a great knife. Look at that. Super awesome. Just feeling it. Do you buy Nicole's dish gloves and so small? <laughs> yeah, this is a very small dish glove. I feel like OJ. Anyways, there it is. Boys and girls. Not too bad for our first. Okay, so if you're going to store this, you might want to cut out the red bloodline. But if you're going to eat it fresh, it's not really going to make a big deal. Always make sure, make sure to feel for bones. So I feel like some little pin bones here. See those? You don't want those. So a lot of guys like to do like a little V cut. So if you just come right here and just kind of cut right there in a little V, it's a lot easier than it looks. Wait, stop, reverse that. Okay, so I'm feeling for bones, not too shabby. Goes in the ice bath. 
This is the giant that we caught. I stabbed him right in the heart. <laughs> No, I'm kidding guys, I didn't do that, that was it. We measured this boy, this is a 24 inch snapper. It was the biggest caught or second biggest caught, I can't remember. That was a little baby throat, but this is gonna be a big giant one and I'll try to show you guys how to do the throat here on this one. So he's saying hello and goodbye. Hello. And goodbye. So remember guys, whenever they say, do you want us to clean your fish for you? Say no, okay? You guys always do it yourself. That's the best. Most funnest thing to do. I'm gonna start here. Look at his head. His huge head. He got all scarred mm -hmm. up. On a barracuda. Okay, so all I'm doing is going about two inches in and I'm feeling the bone and working my way down. All the way down to the tail. And now we're just gonna kind of peek in. Work our way back to the head. There's a little bit of meat in here, but not too much. So anyways, all I'm doing is working along the bones. And as you can tell, I'm just working along the bones. Look at this nice sharp knife, guys. Look at that. Working along the bones. So once you get over this hump, you kind of go back down because you want to get all that meat down in there. Okay. So I'm pretty much done on this end. Now I just need to cut the head down angular. So you're going to cut towards his, uh, his anal region there. I probably could use a serrated knife, but this is just what I got right now. There we go. You can continue cutting or you can stop and then flip it. I don't have a lot of room, so I'm not going to flip it. Do that big old filet, guys. That is nice. Big old filet. This is a 37 inch knife. And you can, no, I'm kidding. It's like, <laughs> like a 7 inch knife. So, as you can tell, there's a little bit of meat in here. If you wanted, you could kind of cut that out, but it's not that much meat. Okay, so now all we're gonna do here. It's a nice little fish nugget though. Yeah. All we're gonna do here is just kind of work our knife in there, make sure we're getting against the skin. I'm gonna hold this here if you want. Some people like poke a hole in there and you can put your thumb in there, but I'm not gonna do that. I got good grip, so I'm wearing gloves. Pro tip, wear gloves. Okay, now. So it's kind of a pulling motion this way and a pushing motion. So you pull here and push and just kind of Work your way through. There you go. And that is good. I missed a little bit of meat here, but look at that filet, guys. That is giant. That is a giant filet. So pro tip, if you're gonna freeze this, cut out the red, because it'll taste fishy, but if you're gonna cook it right now, go ahead and cook it like that, and it won't even Tastes fishy at all. This is a great tasting fish. Uh, there's some pin bones here. Okay, so you can cut like a little V cut. Do like a little V cut here. Cut that bone out. But look at that, guys. Beautiful filet. Nice. Guys, so the next thing we're going to do is get the throat, which is this piece of meat right here, this little chunk. So, what you're going to do is you're gonna peel back a little bit. You're gonna have to cut this, but this is like super hard. So you're gonna need some skizzers. Boys and girls, skizzers. Don't run with them. Anyway, so you're gonna cut here, right across. It's kinda of hard. So you might wanna work out a little bit. Oh, there we go. Anyways, you cut that piece and you're gonna cut around here. These are no ordinary scissors, guys. These are some hard core scissors. Chicken scissors. Anyways, so you're gonna cut down here. Come there, don't cut the guts. You gotta make your way. Down through 
through there. This is all the goodies. Alright, that's the heart right there. If you wanted to eat it, you could. Anyway, so I'm leaving all the guts behind and I'm just getting this guy right here. There we go. It's a big old throat. That's big. Giant throat. Let me rinse it off a little bit. Is it cold on this side? No, it's hot. Okay guys, so this is the snapper throat. You're gonna have some bones in here and you're gonna wanna eat around that. But all this meat right here, super duper good. I like to fry them. All right guys, and that is it. What is up guys? We have our vermilion snapper here. As you can tell, the fillets are small. The vermilion snapper is a smaller fish. Um, I got some really simple ingredients today. We got some Texas blackened seasoning from HEB. We got some pepper, and we got some pink Himalayan salt, and we're basting the bottom with a little bit of this country crop. So all you do is take a dab of that, throw it in there, get it real nice and hot, and I'm going to season the other while the other side is cooking. So I like to do salt a little bit before, because it helps to get the fish a little firm. So we had these fish sitting in water overnight and uh, just kind of helps to bleed it out a little bit and I'll put in a liberal coat of that blackening seasoning on there salt pepper uh, we're doing the salt the blackening and pepper so the the secret to blackening is to have a nice hot pan so when you put it in there you want it to go shh and you know it's ready if it starts getting white around the edges, then it's getting ready. Edges, that's when you know it's ready. A little peak here. Ooh, it's already flaking, guys. So that's a good sign. Look at that, it's already falling apart. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this. Ooh, look at that right there. That's what I'm talking about. The yellow, bland. Dang, that looks good. Okay, hey, so as you can tell, it's already getting flaky. And uh, when you kind of open it a little bit, it's kind of getting flaky, so it's about ready. And here's the second one. Look at that. Looks so ugly. Here we are with the food. We got the vermilion snapper, the lighter one there, and the darker one is the snapper, mm. the red snapper. So we're going to so do a little taste test. first. So first, of course, the rice. So we got avocado, we got broccoli cheese, we got brown rice, red snapper, vermilion snapper. I'm going now. Here <clears throat> she goes. This is the red snapper? Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. A very good. Very nice compliments to the chef. And vermilion. Oh, that's me, I'm the chef. And the vermilion. I think that one's better. Right? I knew it. I knew the vermilion's better. My thorn. All right. So red snapper first. Ooh, look at that. Nice and flaky goodness. It's good. It's firm. It's flaky. Kind of like a, like a redfish. Now here comes the vermilion. Mm. It's a close one, but I think the vermilion takes it. It's just like light and flakier, like almost. yeah. It's nice. It's a little less like tougher. Super good though. Both of them are really good. The only bad thing about the vermilion is they're small. Like the one I caught was probably like this big and they don't get very big. So the cool thing about the snapper is they're big. It was, mine was giant though. Hers was giant. Probably about what, 58? 
60. All right, guys. Thanks for watching this episode of Fish Kid and Milligan, Deep Sea mm. Adventures. For the first, first time. <laughs> First time, first time eating red first time, snapper. First time, her first time fishing for red snapper. Her first time catching red snapper. Her first time catching a keeper red snapper. And then her first time cooking and eating it. My PB. Her PB. PB, PB snapper. <laughs> All right, guys. See you next time.